configure a static IP address. When organizing your home network, it's easier to assign each computer's its own IP address than using DHCP. Here, we will take a look at doing it in Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows XP. If you have a home network with several computers and devices, it's a good idea to assign each of them a specific address. If you use DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, each computer will request and be assigned an address every time it's booted up. When you have to do troubleshooting on your network, it's annoying going to each machine to figure out what IP they have. Using static IPs prevent address conflicts between devices and allow you to manage them more easily. Assigning IPs to Windows is essentially the same process, but getting to where you need to be varies between each version. Windows 7 or Windows 8? To change the computer's IP address in Windows 7, type Network and Sharing into the search box in the Start menu and select Network and Sharing Center when it comes up. In Windows 8, right click on the network icon and select Open Network and Sharing Center from the pop up menu. Then, when the Network and Sharing Center opens, click on Change Adapter Settings. Right-click on your local adapter and select Properties. In the Local Area Connection Properties window, highlight Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4, then click the Properties button. Now select the radio button, use the following IP address and enter in the correct IP, subnet mask and default gateway that corresponds with your network setup. Then enter your preferred and alternative DNS server addresses. Check validate settings upon exit so Windows can find any problems with the addresses you entered. When you're finished, click OK. Now close out of the local area connections properties window. Windows will run network diagnostics and verify the connection is good. Here we had no problems with it, but if you did, you could run the network troubleshooting wizard. Now you can open the command prompt and do an IP config to see the network adapter settings have been successfully changed. Windows XP To set a static IP in XP, right-click on My Network Places and select Properties. Right-click on the adapter you want to set up the IP for and select Properties. Highlight Internet Protocol TCP IP and click the Properties button. Now change the IP, subnet mask, default gateway and DNS server addresses. When you're finished, click OK. You will need to close out of the Network Connection Properties screen before the changes go into effect. Again, you can verify the settings by doing an IP config in the command prompt. In case you're not sure how to do this, click on the Start, then Run. In the Run box, Type in CMD and click OK. Then add the prompt, type in ipconfig and hit enter. This will show the IP address for the network adapter you changed. If you have a small office or home network, assigning each computer a specific IP address makes it a lot easier to manage and troubleshoot network connection problems.